your girl Ash and today I'm back once again with another freaking video uh, for those of you guys who don't know me my name is Ashley make sure that you subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos and let's get right into it so today I'm gonna be talking about scary story time as you guys already saw in the title and i'm gonna be eating some of these cookies these are the cheap the cheap <laughs> okay cheap it these are the chip ahoy um, right. but those are pretty good so you guys i don't even know where to begin with this story i don't know for those of you guys who don't really know me i did get married and i moved out of my parents house about almost a year ago so leaving at my parents house a lot of scary stuff happened a lot of paranormal paranormal activity stuff happened it was things that even if you didn't believe in stuff like this like it would make you believe you know because there's only so much that you can lie to yourself like my husband is one of those people that he would literally be like oh it was the air you know turning on or it was the neighbors or stuff like that but you know being there and experiencing the stuff that i experienced and my family and my friends that would go there like they would be able to tell you it's like it will make you freaking believe so without further or two there's a lot of stories <laughs> that I can definitely tell you guys about but if you guys like you know and want to hear a little bit more about these stories let me know and I will definitely do like a series of them but I'm gonna start off with this one because this one was definitely one for the books so at this age, I was around 14 years old. One of my uncles used to live with us, you know, from the time that I was about nine years old to like 11 years old. So he had moved out, you know, previous years before this happened. And when he moved out, he actually moved out because he was experiencing a lot of stuff in my house. So he told my parents like, hey, you know, I came home last night and there was a little girl standing on the feet of my bed. And he says, you know, he blinked his eyes, he closed them and opened them again. And the little girl was right there, you know, watching him. So he says, I don't know where he just fell like into this like deep, deep sleep that he doesn't remember how exactly the little girl looked like but he remembers seeing her so he says i know it's not a dream but i can't really like tell you guys how she looked like so my parents you know they're not really like they weren't really believers of all of that stuff you know to them it was just kind of like oh like you know it's so noise nada you know they would always talk about how in el rancho you know so yeah, la llorona and stuff like that, but okay, solamente eran, you know, puros cuentos, like just myths, things that people say, you know, stuff like that. So it wasn't all up until when I was 14 and my little sister, you know, we were getting that room ready for her. My little sister at that time, oh, she was around like what? She was around four years old yeah she was around four years old at that time and we were getting that room you know ready for her and it's so crazy to me because i remember helping my parents you know putting like little stuff in the room and everything would just seem to fall apart you know we would buy like little you know decorations to put up on the wall and the next day we would walk in and it would be on the floor so stuff like that you know so i remember one specific time we were painting her room 
we're painting it pink there's obviously you know she's a girl typical i guess that's very typical you know pink whatever but uh we're painting her walls and my parents they got like really tired and they were like you know what like we'll finish up tomorrow and i was like okay cerramos el cuarto we close the door and everything and my room was right in front of her room so like literally right next to each other it was like my room right here and then her room like right in front my parents room was not like closed at all my parents room was all the way to the other side of the house so i you know we closed the room my sister's room and i went to sleep the next day i wake up and my mom is you know trying to bitch me out uh saying that i had dropped the paint on the floor and i was like i did not drop it like what are you talking about i was asleep like what the hell so i go in the room and i'm like what the hell like what is all this bitching about you know i better get i better be getting bitched out for a good freaking reason so i walk in and the paint is all over the floor there's paint everywhere the carpet was all stained like if somebody just purposely knocked the gallon of the paint down and you know everything just got like a massive disaster on the floor like that's literally what happened so then So then, I told my mom, it was not me, you know, like, I didn't do that. Like, why would I ever do that, you know? So, she ended up believing me. At least, I think that she believed me. I don't even freaking know. She probably didn't. But, we ended up fixing it up for her. The stage never went away. Well, they tried to clean it so many times. Never went away and i remember when it was already like about like eight o'clock at night and i'm always putting my little sister to sleep and i was already sleeping i believe either i was like taking a nap or i was already like going to sleep but i remember like hearing my little sister cry so loud like if somebody was like trying to kill her or something and i'm just like whoa like what the hell is going on so i would get up and i tell my mom like what happened why is she crying what's wrong with her so then my mom she tells me oh it's nothing you know it's nothing and my little sister four years old she's trying to like say stuff to me and obviously at that time you know she didn't like speak perfectly clear so she's trying to communicate with me and tell me you know what happened and i'm like okay okay like as she's crying so i'm like calm down and i tell my mom like what happened like tell me right now like what happened why is she crying like that you know so then my mom she tells me okay i'm gonna tell you but just like calmate y no te vayas a asustar don't get scared so i'm like okay and she tells me well your sister was in the room by herself and she says that she saw a little girl i was like oh my god this cannot be happening like even remembering about that day like i literally want to cry because it was like you could just feel like the vibes just completely changed in the house like i was scared for months to go to the restroom by myself i was scared to leave my sister like by herself i was just scared to be by myself period you know and i remember like i asked my sister like you know like estaba fea bonita la niña and she's like estaba fea like she's like she was scary you know and i'm like okay like i'm trying to figure out like how did she see her because my parents house is very isolated like their neighborhood is very isolated so the houses are like super far apart there could have not been like the neighbor or anything like that because 
the houses once again they're super far like apart not only that but it's like lands and lands it's like it's like a very big land so it could have been like another kid you know so i tell my mom well like you know was the window open or what and my mom tells me no like the blinds were closed the curtains were closed everything was closed because my sister said she saw her in the window so at this point me and my mom are thinking like you know maybe she meant like she saw her you know outside through the window but this whole time you know she was trying to say she saw her you know standing in front of the window so that was just like whoa and after that you guys let me tell you like it just started getting crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier like shit just started coming like back to back to back that was like the thing that started everything and the stuff that we saw and experienced like let me tell y'all it's it's some crazy shit but yeah you guys I hope that you guys enjoy this video i know it was you know semi short but like i said i have so many like continuous uh stories after that happened that you know maybe you guys i can get my mom to make a video with me or my best friend because she did experience a lot of stuff with me as well in that house or maybe i can even get my little sister so if you guys liked this video or want to see more I literally just heard something and my husband that's what i think my husband thinks that i'm crazy when i hear stuff but even though i don't live on my parents no more sometimes i do hear like things here okay but anyways please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up make sure to let me know if you guys want to see any more of this videos and i hope that you guys liked it and enjoyed it thank you babies till the next time